Welcome to the splenic authority. What does it mean to have a splenic authority? Well, it means that you have an ancient awareness within you. You have an awareness that was around before human beings, when we were closer to reptiles than humans. And it's basically a, it's a, an awareness that is designed to keep you safe in the now. Back then, it was a matter of get the hell out or be eaten. So we built up uh, intuition. We built up something that could give us an early warning for danger when danger may approach. And it's something that only comes once. I mean, if you don't move back then, you got eaten. End of story. Life over. Next incarnation. So for you, as a human being, to have it within you, it's something that is reliable. It's always going to be there. And it's only interested in keeping you safe and keeping you healthy allowing that well-being that you normally have within you to be maintained. Now, when I say it comes quickly, you act or you don't act, it's instantaneous. It means that you are someone who is designed to be spontaneous. And there aren't many of those. So, although we may have as an idea that spontaneity is something we should all have and we should all be spontaneous, the truth is, it's not that at all. Only a few people can be spontaneous and you are one of them. So it means for you that first impressions count. It's an awareness that goes into the now, operates in the now and immediately has a sensation. It has a, um, a way of knowing whether this is right or wrong for you in that moment. Stay, leave. Yes, no. Just because you're, you have an awareness center doesn't mean that it's something that you can necessarily know all about what's going on. It means you have an intuitive or instinctual um, take on whatever's happening at a very superficial surface. This isn't about a depth awareness. This is about a survival awareness. This is about keeping you alive, basically. And there are certain things that you do that are dangerous or could do that are dangerous and you will get this warning come to you. How will you get it? It's something that changes depending on the type of person, whether you're a projector or a manifester. Um, I've had it described to me in different ways and I have a, a splenic connection myself to my sacral. I have, that, uh, I have a sacral in me so I have a power source connected to it. So I can give you my version of how I encounter it. Your version will be different because you don't have a fixed sacral. You're not here to work the way I work. <laughs> You're here to do part-time work or consultancy work. You're not here to consistently work in the way that I am, so you will not feel it in the same way. For me, it's something that's like a fear that suddenly goes like that. It's something that, 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 that I immediately am aware of. It's like a hiking up of, this is, this is dangerous. It's, it's a constriction, like all fear. It's a constriction, and it can be a constriction that something is going on that I need to be aware about right now. Because I have a sacral, I can do something about it. You don't have a sacral, so your splenic awareness is there to make you aware of something, but it doesn't mean you can necessarily act on it. If you're a splenic manifester and you have a motor connected, then yes, you can. If you're a splenic projector, then no. It's something that that you can be aware of, but you still need it to be uh, recognized, whatever it is, needs to be recognized by others before something can happen for you. So this isn't about doing, that's my point. I want you to understand this isn't about doing, this is about awareness, and it's about a warning that comes to you just once.